but I do like Ben Marks a lot. So. Okay, so this is Grand Finals. It doesn't look like hand warmers. Yeah, it's not. Anyways, uh, so far, player two, I don't know. We'll... Alright, let's look at Celtic Blackout getting the first stock there. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit, this is funky. Okay, so I'm gonna update that, but anyways, getting into it, we have Blackout going up four stocks to three. Now, these two did play in Winners Finals. It was a pretty close, you know, 3 2 last game in Gus's favor, and the last two times these guys played in a lot at middle ground, it was also game five. So, I'm expecting a pretty close set here, not really sure how, to, how I would call it. It can really just go either way. So far, Blackout's doing pretty decent. Ooh, lifts the up smash there, though, but. That jab up smash is going to connect. It's going to go up four stocks to two, but of course, with a character like Jigglypuff, you can never really just start getting lazy. Ooh, nice by Gus. Fades back. Hits him with the back air. Gets something started here. Grabs him right there. And that's going to seal the deal. And just like that, Gus, he is down, but he's absolutely not out of it. He can, he's very good at finding rests. And yeah. But those two up airs from Blackout, not quite going to kill, but pretty decent. Up tilt into another up air. Oh, but Gus is at 69 now. So Blackout's got to stop this emergency. Ooh, jab up smash. All right. Three stocks to one. All right. Let's see, let's see what Gus can make of this. Comes down with a pound. Good mix up. I'm assuming Blackout probably dropped his shield expecting a tomahawk or something like that. But that's going to net him a rest. Now it's only going to be two stocks to one. Right, let's see what happens here. Blackout comes down with a bear. Ooh, but Gus grabs him out of that nair. I'm pretty sure he crouch canceled that. Up till fair. Goes for the grab there. Alright, we kind of just. That up smash almost killed, but Gus catches a lucky break there. Goes up air. And. Well, that up till. That could mean a lot. It's still going. But then again, rest isn't really on the table, but... Alright, that falling off air is going to do it, so it's going to be 1-0 for Blackout, can I say? Okay, so Gus is going to go to Dreamland, good counter pick, uh, it's a very big stage, you know, so Puff can't really die quite as early versus Fox. Ooh, that was a really good Tomahawk by Gus. It's another one, and that rest is going to do it. Alright, let's see what Blackout's punish is going to be. Comes down, gets him with a drill into grab, into up air, wow. Uh, making me eat my words here, I said that Puff can't die quite as early, and she usually doesn't, but that was very clean by Blackout there, making sure that she did. Getting some more up airs going, nice job right there, that just the way that was like up to. Alright, kind of... I guess. Alright, Nair, good job by Blackout. Gus, yeah, he's gonna get punished for that, but DI's the up throw well. Nothing too major. Run and shine. Okay, Gus, and back air. Blackout gets the shine. Oh, but nice That's SDI by Gus from there. That could have saved him. I'm assuming he would have died. Because Gus he died at like 79, so. Yeah. Alright, Gus, roll in. Goes for the F smash. A little risky there, but you know, it can it can pay off, but the fact that Blackout had a lot to go before the blast zone, I'm not sure if it was there. <laughs> nice job by Gus though. Ends up reading the side beetle edge, takes it, only an eight percent lead for Blackout. That is very, very good. And right here, Gus is getting the tech chase. Doesn't quite get the second place though. Good good awareness by Blackout there. It is pretty hard to react to that second place, so yeah, kinda have to commit. Anyways, uh, Gus definitely brought it back percent wise, but you know, that doesn't really drill over the up smash. With an F smash, wow, I like how he drifted back after that nair to quite get a punish though. Going for the F smash, SDI is the up air. Man, there's a lot of situ there's been a lot of situations where it's like, oh, this could be devastating for one player or the other, but they've been making it out. And that's gonna do it, snags the ledge. I like how he went high to sort of force Blackout to go low, and then once Blackout went low, he just covered his option there. Good job by Gus. Alright, he's now up on this game. 
right? Oh, it looks like he wanted maybe a wavelength grab there. Or I'm not actually sure. Okay, jab up smash. That's gonna do it. Once again, very close, as again I've been expecting. These two players are both very good, very evenly matched. Nice job by Gus there. Wave lands off the platform, comes down with an up air. That's a pretty good trick by Gus. Alright, blackout, air dodge is on. Gets an up air, two up airs. 44 to 99. Still in Gus's favor, but you never know. Alright. Gus airs out. Gets him with the fair. Is that gonna be it? Nope. Blackout does side be above ledge this time. Alright. Good job by Blackout there. Alright. Here. Grabs him out of the nair. Ooh, that could have been. Yeah, like, that's sort of what I'm saying. There's a lot of situations where it could just be devastating. Because this matchup's very volatile. That back here is gonna do it. Alright. So with that, it's now 1 to 1. Alright. Super Blackout's gonna go now. He decides to go to Final Destination. Um, I could definitely see this. There's a lot of room to laser. Puff can't really run away to the platforms. Uh, but Gus just says, I don't care. I'm gonna up the rest of you anyways. Um, yeah. I don't know. In my opinion, I feel like Pokemon is the best stage, but I don't really know much. That, or Blackout obviously knows a lot more about this matchup than I do. So, there's that. Alright, gets him the tech chase. Oh, Read the wrong tech right there. It's unfortunate for him. That was very good though. Looked like it was just gonna come down with a back air. Gus tried to shield grab it, baits him out. Although I'm not even sure if the back air would have been shield grabbable anyways, but definitely worth it to go for it. I mean, if you miss, you get back air. If you get the shield grab, potentially a stop. Rolls in, blackout catches him. That's gonna be it. He dies at 69. Quite the. I don't know what you would call that. Oxymoron or whatever. Nice jump read. Goes for a jab grab. Alright. Uh, uh, good there, good job. Oh, what for the tomahawk there, but Blackout was aware for it. And, nope, that's not quite gonna do it. Yeah, that is one thing that Puff does get on this stage, though. It is pretty big, so she can't survive for longer, but, you know, Fox gets a lot of stuff, too, for sure. Alright, Blackout. I'm just letting it rip. Unfortunately for him, Gus doesn't get too big of a punish. I mean, Rest is kind of off the table now, just because if Gus evens that up, gets Blackout down to two stocks with Rest, there's the possibility of just moving down to one stock, but that F Smash is going to do it. Alright, doesn't quite need the Rest. Now Rest is back in play, and okay, Blackout makes it, says no it's not, but I mean Gus is at a pretty low percent, so he can definitely still get one. Is that going to be one? Yep, just like that. Grabs him, gets, uh, I think, five hit streak. That was pretty good by him. It is now dead even in set count, percent count, stock count. Very close right here. Drill into grab. Nice. That pound's gonna. Oh, goes for the jab reset. Doesn't quite get it. Alright, both at round 40. I like how Gus empty landed and jab that time instead of just going for the tomahawk every time. It's pretty good. Standing laser. Oh, grabs him. That's gonna do it. Gus is up 2 1 now. Alright, and he's from winners, so this is a pretty favorable position for him. Blackout going straight back to FD. Alright, not a bad choice. He was up, he definitely can do it, and Gus decides to roll out. Could have caught him off guard, you know. You never know. Probably, it definitely would have caught me off guard, 100%. Is that rest up throw? Ooh, gets him with the pound, but Blackout's ready for it, DI's it. Nice job right there, but he's gonna clean up the edge guard anyway. Alright, he's at 25%. Blackout tries to steal lead from him, but doesn't quite get it. It's okay, though. He's doing good. Gets him with the grab. Yeah, shields to bait out the get-up attack. Gus recognizes that. Just rolls away. It's kind of why I do like crouch cancel, because you have to be... I don't even know if you can get that on reaction. Alright. Oh, is that going to be a grab? Nope, the pound misses that time. Alright, let's see what's going to That one's going to be a jab up smash, but not quite going to kill Gus. He's a, a pretty good position right now. Ooh, dash attack. What's Blackout going to do? He's dash dancing. Quite the pressure. Nice job. Excellent way of getting the grab, but unfortunately for him, Gus DI's yeah, out of it. But if you're Gus, you're definitely happy about that. Alright, the up smash. Uh, Gus is going to roll out. <laughs> Just shoots one laser. Alright. That's uh, that's a thing that happened. Okay, anyways, back airs. Get some with another one. And yeah, I guess come to think of it, nah, I'm not right. Um, wonder if, uh, whatever. Jab. It's gonna get sent too high though for the up smash. 
Runs into the Nair, and... Ooh, yeah, Gusto's out the F-Smash. I'm not... Yeah, risky, but it could've worked again. Alright, goes to Legend Fairs on. Alright, Blackout's gonna run into a Nair there. Gus is making pretty good use of these Nairs, but... Blackout doesn't get hit by that one, and the backer is gonna take it. Alright, it is even stocks. Granted, the percent is pretty lopsided, but that doesn't mean too much. Three stocks, you got quite a lot of time. So... Now Blackout... Oh, smart. He doesn't angle the ledge. I would've went for the same read. That's a very common angle right there. Alright. Get a attack by Gus. Nice! Gets him with a soft fair. That's not quite gonna do it, but I, I guess it pretty much is. Alright, Rising Pound's back. Alright, let's see what Blackout can do here. He still does have two stocks, so... It's not like he's really that out of this. He gets an up throw up there right there. Gus already going to the magnifying glass. Just shows you that... Yeah. Just like that. Pretty close. One more of those is going to be dead even. Yeah, assuming, of course, Gus doesn't attack on percent. Or it happens. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways. Run it, run it shines. Nice. I thought it was going to go for a grab. I think Gus might have thought that too. Um, run and shine again. That shine. Frame one. Very fast. Ooh, nice job going back by Gus. It's back. That upper... Is that a... I know Blackout up here. Did Gus up here to trade with the two? That's, that's pretty cool. Anyways, a lot closer than it was before. Once again, in a volatile matchup like this, you really can't. All right, that's Blackout's definitely been ready for these pounds. Went first. He's been DIing all of them. All right. Oh, shines him the other way. Wow, that was a very impressive play by Blackout there. Showing, yeah, Puff definitely can kill me at early percents, but I can do the same thing. Makes it back. Shine. All right. Nice. Gonna see if we can tag on some more extra credit here. Gets him with a Nair. Nair into up tilt. I love that. It looks cool. Gets him with lasers. Gus now. Ooh. All right. Blackout on the ledge. What's he gonna do? He ledge dash grabs. That's gonna be 2-2. Two -two. Nice job for Blackout. It looks like... I mean, yeah, he was down, but, you know, he held it together because his tag isn't Scarecrow. All right. Let's see what's gonna happen now. Gus going to Fountain of Dreams. All right, I like that. I know this is typically thought of as a good stage for Puff. I would assume it's because back airing in center stage makes it more likely to lead to an edge guard situation. And I guess the platforms can mess up technical box movement. I don't really know, but... Anyways, nice pound by Gus. Gus has been doing pretty good with his pounds in neutral. It's typically considered risky, but he's not doing going for the same ones every time. Or maybe he is and I'm just stupid, but I don't think he is. He's, doing, he's pretty good at mixing it up, definitely. And adapting. Ooh, rolls into the shine there, but... I get too much, Gus. Yeah, see, like, like right there, his pound was really good because I was expecting a nair because he did two of them. And it's like, oh, gotcha, bitch. Although I didn't get him, but it was a good idea. Definitely could have. Ooh, grabs him. Alright, that's gonna be four stocks and two. Okay, four stocks and three, I'm stupid. Anyways, um, yeah, four stocks and two here. But we saw what happened last match. I mean, it looked like Gus was gonna get it, and he absolutely still can. He did it in Winter's Finals, but, you know, Blackout absolutely can do it, too. Nice pound again. Catches him. Yep, that rest is going to do it, and I don't think Blackout's going to be able to get a kill off this. They're up tilt. Not bad, but, yeah, when you're in this position, you kind of just want to get the kill. All right, goes for a grab. Ooh, but Gus gets out of that. Yeah, going for two pummels. I under it's kind of hard to resist going for more pummels since you want Puff to just die, but... Alright, ooh, Blackout double jumping over that grab. That could have been really bad. Ooh, this time he doesn't fall for the wave land up air. And gets him with an up smash. Alright, it's pretty much just one stock down. Let's see what Blackout can do. Oh, but right as I speak, Gus rests him. And that's gonna be it. Let's get the tournament. Two game five sets of Gus's favor.